Hello everybody and welcome back. I am Carrick. So we're continuing on with this Flotsam playthrough. Quick start guide, tutorial, discussion, commentary, whatever you want to call it. And of course, if you guys are just joining us, this is uh, episode three, I believe. And you guys haven't seen episode one or two. There is a playlist link down below. That'll get you going in the right order. I know YouTube can be a little bit weird about that, but uh, there you go, guys. And uh, we're now on day five and we have uh, food production. As long as we can get seaweed, it's not fully self-sufficient. And uh, we are making water by uh, using firewood, which comes from chopping it at the wood work working shed, from dried wet wood. So wet wood becomes dry wood, becomes chopped firewood, becomes uh, boiling salt water in the desalinator. So we have water covered mostly, and we have food needs uh, mildly covered. We actually found some food from the shack town over here, which is quite nice. And we, um, that's been fully salvaged, so it's time to get a move on. It's time to move. We need to come over here and get this seaweed. And we're actually ultimately trying to get over to this guy here who is, who's apparently stranded and needs our help. We also want to pick up that plastic on the way. So let's get the seaweed, though. Um, only nine seaweed at this location. And we realized, we unfortunately realized that this, this does count as our electrical grid. So we need to, uh... We need to connect these points together. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Is this going to work? Is this going to be, are these going to be connected points? I don't know. We'll have to see. I don't know how many of these we're going to need to build, but we need to build a lot of these energy pools because we accidentally built our research station way out here. We could have just built it right next to it, I'm sure, but whatever. We're doing things the hard way. That's how we like to roll. Plenty of wet wood, um, but unfortunately we need the dry wood at the moment. So it's taking some time to do that. Oh, the seaweed's been gathered. So we're going to cook that into food right away. And it's time to move. It's time to move. Oh, really? We actually don't have the energy to get all the way. That's, that's interesting. This is going to take all of our energy? Really? Is it that far of a trip? Well, that looks, uh, this looks like seaweed. This looks, oh, whoa, wait a second. What is this? Seaweed covered rocks. We got tons of seaweed over here. And there we go. We got the lonely island. So we're working our way there. And it'll take a second, I think. Oh, this will be good for getting a lot of our plastics. This is a place that we can get just tons and tons of metals. I do also want to make sure that we're building at some point the scrap smith. Um, however, uh, more importantly is we need to get the research thing like set up, basically. But we have plenty of food. Uh, we can make water with wood, so we're doing okay. We're doing okay. We have storage space here for 30 more items. Of course, this is going to fill it up very, very quickly. Uh, with some of the plastics that we're getting, we should probably just be making them into floaters. It's kind of annoying that all the raw plastic... Does, none of the... But does raw plastic have any purpose? It would have been nice if raw plastic could have been used for the pathways or the drying dots. Just, like, really basic stuff so you don't have to, like... It seems kind of weird that you collect all this raw plastic and then you just have to run it through the uh, plastic recycler like 100% like there is no it's not a choice you know what I mean it's just something you just you get it you process it um, but I guess that's the same with the wet wood you can't use wet wood either so maybe that just makes sense we do want to start working on this electrical scraps though I don't know how valuable those are going to be but our inventory is seriously about to be junked up with these things if we keep collecting them if we keep collecting them you know, I'm almost tempted to say, forget this. How many of these can we make? Yeah, we need, we need way more wood. We need way more just wood. We have wet wood and it's not even being dried right now. This is like a priority one. You know, I think we're canceling this. I think we're canceling that. We, we don't need metal right now. We don't need metal. 
We need to make sure we're doing the dried wood here. So can I please uh, see some come over here, get some of this wet wood, send it over to this. That person seems to be hauling stuff. Thank you. What? What? There we go. Thank you. Thank you. You doing one at a time? Literally hauling one wood at a time over here. Yikes. Well, we can get the scrap smith. I don't know exactly where I want to build this. Stick it out there. I, I don't know. We need we need more pathways, but I don't really feel like we have the extra floaters to burn like that at the moment. Although maybe we do. Maybe we do. The energy's coming back here because we did run out of energy when we were going to there. This is a lot of seaweed out here, and we're trying to get to the Lonely Island. So this is going to be plenty of food. I, I don't think our water's in any kind of trouble. We've already explored all those areas, right? Does that little flag represent the fact that we've been there? Yeah, there's a little flag maybe it tells us that we've been to these locations, I think, which is nice. I was going to say, we really need to be diligent about putting the... And we also got a, we got a little bit of a water issue coming up. In the sense that we haven't been making firewood to make uh, fresh water with the desalinator because we've been trying to spend all of the fresh, uh, all of the... Are these hooked up? Oh, is that it? Wait, could this have been linked all along? Could that have been linked all along? Like, how, how far can these go? Okay. No, it looks like it wouldn't have made it the whole way, but maybe just one would have been fine. Okay, so we have this linked up. This is actually operational now. Which is nice. Let's get the mooring point. I think getting the boats... Boats are just so much more efficient at salvaging that that will be... Uh, that'll sort of accelerate our, our econ economic production capabilities. We have plenty of room, so you know what? Eh, what the heck. If someone doesn't have anything to do, head out there. We're still actually cranking right now, too. So I'm assuming cranking this wheel here is less effective than the researched uh, bike thing. Because otherwise, why would the bike thing be a thing? Um, but I'm assuming operating the bike is, is better and faster at getting energy than the, than the crank. That's interesting. Yeah, we're using energy over here. We're literally using energy over here. Trying to operate this thing. Holy cow. This actually requires firewood. Yep, we're in trouble. Sort of. Okay, are we coming back with some stuff there? This is this is just not important to us. Okay, we're coming back with some things. Cancel all this. Get back with what you have. Come back with some electrical thingamajigs and stuff. Nice. We have plenty of food, but the water's looking a little a little run and dry. So we need we need wood if we can get it. But we have plenty of of wood. We just need dry we need to find a place where we can just get some dry wood. That's even more seaweed there. It'll be interesting to see if these two different areas are Is this an area yeah this is an area you actually send this actually gives you the seaweed spores. Okay. And we do want to collect some of those. This is purely just a buoy to just go out and get those. Okay. So this will get us a bunch of... We're going to have tons and tons of food after this. 
but the water is going to be a little sketchier. We could just make, actually, you know what? That's what we need to research. We need to research a bigger drying rack. Wood powered, solar, manual. My uh, wooden, a uh, wood walkway. Can you make that out of, um, can you make that out of wet wood by chance? Listen, doesn't this say you can upgrade it? Upgrade. Oh, do you not need to research this? Holy cow, do you not need to research this? We made a mistake. Okay, please don't use all the seaweed on this. Shut it down, shut it down. We need to, uh, we need to have the, uh, we need to be making rope. We need three ropes. I did not realize, I assumed that you'd have to research the large drying rack first before you could upgrade it. What else could be upgraded here? A desalinator can be upgraded. To an electric desalinator. Presumably does it need to be manually operated as, as much? Oh, you could just, uh, so these could be upgraded to like electrical stations. Not those basic ones, though, apparently. See, there it says, that's what it looks like when you have to research it. Here it's saying there's a research symbol that says you have to research it. Holy cow, I did not realize that we could just upgrade those like that. I totally didn't realize that. Actually, somehow we have a decent amount. This is going to be game-changing. Now we really want to go find all of the um, all of the wood. And get all the wet wood because we're going to be processing this stuff like fast. Okay, that's actually really nice because man, this was kind of annoying trying to get this this done. Wow, now we can do th can we do three at a time now? Holy cow. Huge. And you can make it into a huge dry rack. Yes, let's do this. Let's make three of these. Okay, let's turn this off. We don't I don't think we have any more seaweed. We need to actually be able to grow seaweed would be nice. All of a sudden now that we're getting some of the let's do a Yeah, let's do this. Um let's also try to make some of these. It looks like we can make uh, five, would cost 10. We could, we could make a number of these, we just need the firewood. A uh, survivor might need her help. A waypoint has been added to our compass. Okay, another one? Another one. There's one here that we're going to. Oh, do we have to get here in a certain amount of time? Did this person die? We'll have to see. We'll have to see. I forgot to. I always forget to set that to two people so they can all go out there and work on it. Can, can we be processing the? Uh, yeah, we need we need someone that that's doing a low priority thing, set to haul first. Yeah, they should be hauling before they go out and. What is this? Salvaging stuff? Yeah, you should be hauling first before you go salvage something. If there's something that needs to be hauled. There we go. That is trip. We've literally tripled our drying ca capabilities. Holy cow, that was a huge limiting factor in what we were doing. Look at all that potential firewood. There we go, guys. Things are coming together. The seaweed grower has been unlocked. Um, 
you know, instead of making these huge, which would be kind of cool to make them into huge dryers, which I don't even, can't even imagine what, what maybe six at a time or something, um, which, oh man, that would be pretty cool. But I think we're going to actually probably do the seaweed grower first because we have these saplings, the seaweeds or seaweed spores that we could then get uh, operational there. Finally, let's head out here like we wanted to. Oh, we, we don't have the energy for this. Whoa. What's up, dude? Okay, you can see the, you'd actually see that little orange bar is filling up. I want to make sure that we're in range here. I want to, I want to get this far. I want to get to here because I want to be really close to everything. Both, both things of plastic. Although plastic's really not that important anymore, to be honest. Let's do this. Wood's actually going to be something we get using pretty quick, I think. But I think we're about to... Uh, well, actually, this is kind of cool. Res uh, uh, res Wait a second. Don't we already have a really good researcher? A garbologist? Fishing and, and salvaging. Hmm. Okay, pa pause because you look like you're doing nothing. That's freaking me out a little bit. There's plenty of stuff for you to be doing. Oh, that knife just kind of scared me a little bit. Look at you fishing, uh, desalination construction. Construction research, yeah. So you're already kind of a researcher. I mean, you know what? What the heck? Let's rescue them. Let's rescue them. They're, they're someone that needs our help. They're trapped in a burning building. Oh, no. It's just, uh, they're, they're just a fire, signal fire going on there. Oh, we are going to need to make another home for them, actually. You know, I like the tower being out here, but that tower really was going to fit there perfectly, wasn't it? Actually, let's set up another uh, chunk, of, another uh, uh, area of the something. Should we do? Wait, do we want to do it? I'm just making stuff up here. We're, we're building very sort of oddly into one quad, quadrant of the um, of the pie. So is he part of the team now? He's part of the team. So let's uh, let's make sure that he's set to do some things. Now he's actually a proficient researcher, and presumably only one guy can actually research at a time. So we could actually go into here and say. Okay, we're getting full up on, on stuff. So this guy's a, a solid researcher. You know what? I think, and this person's kind of a constructor. Yeah. I'm going to let them do research. If they have nothing left to do and this guy's busy doing something. No, you know what? No, they're just going to focus on building first. Always be our builder. He's not going to do any building. This person could do some building if they want. And then um, he's also going to do this stuff over here. He doesn't need to do any of this because that's all highly specialized. Well, crafting something that's not bad to do. There we go. That there we go. I think we have him set up. So he's going to be our new our researcher. The other person will focus on building stuff. Um. We are full up inventory wise, which is not good. We need to make this guy a home, a bed for him somewhere. And we need more storage, unfortunately. Oh, we probably have a lot of plastic that we can convert here. That should actually clean up the inventory a bit. What do we have too much of right now? We have a lot of we have a lot of wood. Let's make sure we're making a bunch of, of driftwood or uh, firewood, and with that firewood, we should be able to make 
more of the metal plates. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff to do here. Is our crafter the same as our desalinator? That would actually be kind of a bummer. Yeah, we need we need we need to separate these two things because someone that just that does the desalination doesn't have to be the same person that's always trying to run around and craft everything. So if we could find someone that was specialized in one of those two tasks, that would be nice to then um, split that responsibility. Because this person has to come over here, they have to make the firewood, then they have to go here, desalinate it, but then they're also thinking that they need to come here and make metal plates and, and such. So. And anyone else? Is anyone else set to crafting? Everybody should be mildly set to crafting, so they should go and do some crafting if they're not hauling or doing other other things. So we're going to be eating more food and drinking more water per day now. And really the big issue that we have right now is, is really just we don't have people crafting. Like we should have people at every single station right now just go, go, go. We need more raw seaweed to make the rope in order to build the seaweed grower. So let's go looking for some seaweed if we can find some. Technically that seaweed that we passed, polluted wood, we don't really need that as much. Oh, we have a seagull friend that we can come and get over here. Quite far away though, the, the, all, all these people are quite far away. Are you serious? We can't even get that far? Oof. Move the town. Okay, that's the shack town and there's seaweed there. We're going to want to head over here after this. Of course, it's nighttime now. Uh, where is home? Sorry, guys. I'm just like... There we go. A little disorientating. People have nothing to do. They could come out here. Um, yeah, we don't have any more wet wood. So we can just keep cranking out that firewood. How much firewood do we have on hand? We have four here right now. So that's gonna be four things of water. So we actually should be making a good amount of water. We're gonna be filling up on a lot of wet wood and dry wood. You know, honestly, I'm gonna remove this. We don't care about the wet wood right now. Let's just get this dry wood. Should be, yep, we're making water. We're making water, so that's good. Should have enough water for the next day. This person is over here doing some, some crafting, which is nice. Once they use up all of these metal plates, we'll be done with that. Uh, no one's working on cranking the thing. It's a little concerning. We do need to get energy or we're going to be a sitting duck over here. Yeah, I think the next research that we need probably is this... Uh, manual power generator if it's an improvement over man the solar power generator if this is passive it requires three solar panels we haven't found those yet that's going to take energy to operate this but oh well I think getting this manual power generator should actually help us. If we actually had someone that was like, is there a skill? Like energy duties, is that someone that, could we actually find someone that's like, a, you know, a, a Tesla or something that can, uh, that can be really good at that? Cranking the wheel <laughs> or riding on the bike or something. 
So interestingly enough, here we need uh, we need planks. I think we're almost done. Yeah, we're almost done here with um, with doing metal plates based on the amount of metal that we've accumulated thus far. We're cranking up that energy. But I think, guys, we have ourselves a little bit of a self-sufficient colony over here. We're making uh, food. Our, our, actually, our, uh, we're making water. We can make food from seaweed. We need to get to there, though. Get to right there. So we can get the seaweed and get the plastic. And we can get to the shack town, which should have food there, I think. Well, seaweed, that should be enough to get some rope and some food. Um, oh, it was kind of right next to the base. I didn't even see it. This has five food on it and some metal and dreadwood. That's that's going to be nice. That's going to be nice. And uh, technically, this is kind of a low priority gather, but... Uh, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause this one for now. We're going to wait for them to finish up the seaweed and then we'll actually have them working on the plastic if they have nothing else to do. We're making water, which is great. We do need to come back to this because we said we wanted to build the uh, manual power generator, which is going to cost uh, some wooden planks. It'll be interesting to see if this is a huge, like, a drifter can generate, can manually generate 30 eels here. I thought you'd actually be collecting like eels and stuff and using them to generate electricity, like e an eel tank or something. Maybe, maybe in the future, right? Like it seems like that's where they're they're calling them eels. I mean, I get I get that like, why not actually have the ability to to have a big giant tank of eels and you like feed them something, and that that you know they just create a certain amount of passive electricity, just like the solar panels probably create passive electricity, right? And the eel tank would would create some too. But I want to know how much does the crank do, right? What is the amount of generation that you can get from the crank? Whoops. Oh, I did not mean to disconnect that. But I see there's a there's a certain amount of links that all of these can do. Generators. Hmm, interesting. Books. Generators. Fuel. Oh, this is the energy storage goes up by that much. Oh, you know, we might actually build one of these. Why not? I don't know if we want to build it right there, but... And again, where else would we build it? We have the materials to build it. Let's just build that thing. More importantly, we want to get this thing up and going. And we will do that, I think, guys, on the next episode. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out here. I think at this point, though, it's it's safe to say that if you guys have hung out with us for these uh, three episodes, this sort of Let's Playing sort of quick start guide for Flotsam, you probably have a good idea of what the game is like and what kind of progression there is in the game and what kind of things we can work our way up to. They've definitely sort of expanded, slowed down the, the rate of progression a little bit. Um, and you can see these tabs, like, clearly, like, I would say that you need to fill these tabs out with a bunch of interesting things. They're definitely starting to add, I mean, just, like, little things like, oh, we have these little events where we can go and track these people down. Or um, there's, there's like, a little bit of things that I feel like they need to keep, good ideas that need to keep, you know, getting more depth and more expansion, more variety and stuff like that. Um, but uh, for the most part, how do we link these up? Link. There we go. Booyah. So we now have capacity for 7,500 um, electricity, which is nice. Booyah. Guys, thanks everybody for being here. If you guys have questions, please, uh, or just comments, general feedback on the series and stuff. Uh, I read all the comments and I respond to most of them. Um, or if you guys have suggestions or any kind of thoughts or anything like that, there is a playlist link down below, guys, that'll help get you to the next episode. But thanks everybody for being here. 
And like I said, I think at this point you guys probably have a good idea of what's going on with with Flotsam and whether or not you guys would think it'd be uh, something you guys would enjoy. Uh, thanks, guys. Have a good one.